In many parts of the Granite State, the snow and ice has melted, and hiking trails are again visible. But if you're itching to get a head start on spring outdoor fun, a heads up, the ticks are already out, and word is, they're pretty bad. Yeah, I've had probably about, I'm going to say, five or six friends over the last two weeks who have started getting ticks already. Tim Flurry with UNH Cooperative Extension tells News 9 during a recent walk in Boscoan, he came across more than a dozen adult deer ticks known for their potential to spread disease. And Mark Beauchene with New Hampshire Fish and Game warns they've been receiving similar reports. We're warming quicker than, than, than we have in the past, and, and that's, that's their signal to come on out and play. But Beauchene says people shouldn't let it hold them back from going outside and instead prepare. He says to get together some designated outdoor clothes and spray them with permethrin, which can repel and kill ticks. And those are the clothes that I use when I go bird watching, fishing, or running the dogs, etc. Um, I can change those before I come in the house. And an extra tool to have handy after a walk in the woods, a lint roller. We can just roll that on our clothes. It'll pick up those micro tiny little ticks and lessen our chances of bringing those in the house. If you bring Fido along for your walk, consider a tick treatment or collar for them and go through their coats with a fine tooth comb when you get home. And ticks, of course, can hide on so many parts of our bodies, but uh, they are commonly attracted to those warm spots. So behind your knees and under your arms are good places to always check. Now, we're told from those experts that if you find a tick on yourself and think that it might have been there for more than 24 hours, you should get it reviewed by a doctor. Reporting live in Manchester tonight, Tyler Dumont, WMUR News 9.